police arrested Joshua Murray, 25 years of age, after he reportedly drew a gun on two women because they did not thank him for opening the door. He's been charged with carrying a pistol without a permit, which is a felony in Connecticut. Because it's ridiculous. Saturday afternoon. At a family dollar in Connecticut, this human was arrested for allegedly pulling a gun out and pointing it at two women who didn't thank him for holding the door. Mm. I said Joshua Murray of Connecticut was at a family dollar and he pulled a gun out and pointed it at two women who didn't thank him holding the door. Has it ever yeah. happened uh, that someone did something uh, chivalrous or nice or thoughtful and you forgot to thank them? Uh, and then they got really mad at you, maybe even scoffed or said something under their breath. Um, it, it happens to a lot of us. Sometimes we forget to say thank you. Sometimes we didn't know someone was doing something nice to us. Sometimes we're the person trying to extend the nice gesture and we don't get a thank you. It happens all the time, but rarely do you pull out a gun. So in Connecticut, a man became so upset when he held the door for two women at a family dollar store um, and they didn't thank him that he pulled a gun on them. So Hamden police said the officers responded to a call Saturday afternoon following an incident at a family dollar where witness claims Joshua Murray, 25 years old. Oh, poor Joshua. You young soul uh, pointed a gun at two female customers in front of the store because they quote did not say thank you to him for holding the door open for them. Big strong guy needs gun to defend his masculinity. Um, he was found later in uh, on a nearby street um, with the gun in his possession. He's actually been charged. Interestingly, for carrying a gun without a permit, as well as two counts of second degree breach of peace, which I didn't know was a thing, thank God it is. He was charged with interfering with an officer, which allegedly occurred while he was being taken into custody. He's being held on a $25,000 bond, will appear in court on August 2nd. Mind you, Connecticut, right? Not Texas, not other open carry spots, Texas, still, excuse me, Connecticut, still. Gun permits are at like an all time high in the state of Connecticut. Um, over 20,000 permits were issued for men and more than 18,000 were given to women just last year. There have already been 11,000 gun permits issued in 2022 with several months remaining. Um, so last year there was a lot now where I don't know if we're gonna keep up with those numbers, um, but I, I, I just, here's my, here's my thought. Whatever database Connecticut has for mass shooters, please put this guy on it. I don't even need him to pay $25,000 bail. I don't care. Just please watch him. Joshua Murray. Okay, a witness claims Joshua pointed a gun at two female customers in front of the store because they did not say thank you to him for holding a door open for them. Joshua, you're not entitled to that. Okay, you should have been holding that door out of the goodness of your heart because of because of that's how because that's how you were raised, okay? Now, should the women have said thank you? Sure. I think so. Are they obligated to? Hell no. There's no written rule that because you do something nice for someone, <clears throat> they owe you anything in return. Okay, not even a thank you. But your ego, Josh, makes you feel entitled to that thank you because you didn't do that act of kindness for them. You did it for yourself. <clears throat> you did it and you were expecting something back in return. And when you didn't get it, that fragile male ego made you pull a gun out on those women. Now look, man. Your Uncle Charlotte, I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary. I tell y'all this all the time, but I know a little bit. And I know that a person not telling you thank you should not on any planet warrant this kind of reaction. <laughs> okay? Why do we do this to each other? I tell y'all all the time, we as humans are, are other humans' first line of defense. We are all relying on each oh, other. Oh, because I have bigger ovaries than that. I am much more affirmed in my uh, gender identity and masculinity and femininity than needing to pull a gun on someone. I, I have to confess I, you know, that whenever I do something that small, uh, that's nice for other people, I don't do 
accounting next to it. I don't pull out a like ledger and be like, all right, <laughs> that's good. She she did not thank me. I'm going to note that one. Okay. Uh, I just I don't even notice if they thank me or not. I do. I move on with my life because it wasn't that big a deal. Sometimes, in fact, I'll even joke about it. Like I'll get into an elevator and somebody will have bags or something, and I'll ask them what floor number, and I'll press it, and I'll say like, "Oh no," and they'll be like, "Oh, thank you," and I'm like, "Oh no, it's okay. I, I love doing small favors." <laughs> uh, right? You ask me to move, I got no interest in that. You ask me to press the button three, I'm on it. Okay. <laughs> No, thank you. Like <laughs> yes. Just call um, me a hero. You yeah. disappear. <laughs> like, I don't want to say I'm a hero. I'm just saying, all right. Look, one last thing about this. Uh, I don't know where this falls in the political spectrum, and I don't, and I don't care. But <laughs> um, men are supposed to protect women. Okay. Um, and so it doesn't mean that women require the protection. Okay. It doesn't mean anything about the women. Okay. I'm talking about the men. You're supposed to protect women. And mm-hmm. you're supposed to protect children. And you're supposed to protect others. That's what men do. Okay. And so if you're threatening women because your ego was bruised, that is unbelievably unmanly. Okay. And there's something wrong with our society. Things are breaking down. And so there's two stories that have stuck with me. One is a story that Washington Post ran about this poor bus driver, this lovely lady in Denver. And men are constantly threatening her and they're calling her terrible names and no other man ever stands up for her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is wrong with us? That no other man on the bus says, hey, 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 don't say that, right? Um, and, And then the story in LA that I talked about the other day, a guy pulls up a chair in front of a hairdresser filled with women, hairdressing place, and 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 he starts to masturbate. Um, for like 40 minutes, the cops don't yes. show up because cops don't care. They're out getting donuts or whatever, right? But there's no other man in the neighborhood to say, hey, leave, don't do that. No, no, nobody's doing anything to protect each other. And it's, it's it's ridiculous. You know what you can do instead of pulling out a gun on them? Say something like, hey, you're welcome, sarcastically, and walk away. Remind them, wasn't courteous not to say thank you after I did something courteous for you. That's simple. But to threaten the life of two women that you just opened the door for, well, that's just ridiculous and criminal.